Happy 90, guys. Last break of the night. Before we get into our Topps Chromathon tomorrow. Talk to me, folks. Giants. Uh, you know, Jeff, you took the other one too. Send 115. Give you a nicer discount on that one. 115 for the G Man. What's a Jung Ho auto come out? Jung Ho's avoided me for over a month. It's only money you make more. You usually the quote goes, you can always make money. You can't make time. You, I mean, you can't make memories. You can always make money. With the job that you work for now, wait for you or would they hire your replacement? There's only one first kindergarten graduation. There's only one first t-ball game, basketball game. But there will always be important work deadlines. There will always be a big client. There will always be I hate to say it. I mean, I'm pre I'm reckless when I use that saying, though. I mean, I I'll be honest. I'm I'm typical. I'm decent with my finances. Like I know where all my money goes, pretty much. But like I just, I can't get into the surplus of funds. Every time I get into the surplus of funds, I take a risk, and unfortunately, the risk doesn't pan out for me. Which is fine. Which is totally cool. But I learned a lot from it. I, got, I gained a lot of valuable experiences and like myself and hopefully for a lot of you guys out there, I hope that you're prosperous and you're happy. I don't know Pearl. I do know Miss Cleo. Miss Cleo, call, call me now for a free 10 minute estimate. I can read your future. I'm seeing something. I'm seeing something. As the cards are talking to me, yes. Does she have a girlfriend? Is her name Karen? Yes, Miss Cleo knows all, so call Miss Cleo now. <laughs> oh, Miss Pearl Packings. I thought you were talking about Miss Cleo. I thought you were talking, is that a, I think that's a spotlight. Might have a spotlight in that. I thought we were talking about Miss Cleo. I used to love, I miss infomercials. I think the art of infomercials are, is gone. I've never seen a great infomercial. Obviously, because nobody watches TV anymore. That should be my million dollar idea. If anybody out there works in entertainment, I should do infomercials for Netflix and and Hulu and HBO Max and Disney Plus. I should I should do infomercials. Hey guys, it's the hammer here. I got the new OxyClean, the stain specialists. Don't use those other sus brands. <laughs> brands for those boomers. <laughs> Let's use OxyClean for the new generation. I don't know. <laughs> Who asked you to go out of town? The stupid one or the married one? Just copy Crazy Bernie. What was Crazy Bernie? I'm, I'm, dude, I'm dead serious. I think, I think I'm made out for that. If there was a dream job that I could have, other than obviously doing what I do now, it would probably be infomercial or game show. Hosting a game show. I don't think I'd be good on like Wheel of Fortune. It would have to be like a, it would have to be like a family feud or something. Crazy Bernie. Can't say that I'm familiar with him. 
I gotta say, my idols were always Billy Mays and uh, the Crap Chop guy. The guy for the Sham Wow. It's gonna change your life. <laughs> you want diced onions? Boom, give it one chop. You want fine diced onions? Boom, boom, two, three, chop. <laughs> you throw in some cherry tomatoes. <laughs> you throw in some lettuce, some garnish. You made yourself a lunch salad. Under 30 seconds. <laughs> clean up, clean up's a breeze. It was so funny when I heard the diss, the Billy Mays diss of that guy. Yes! You're gonna be slapping your troubles away. <laughs> I remember when uh, Billy Mays did that shoot on that guy and he just trashed him. And, and, and in Billy Mays fashion, he, he ripped that guy a new one. He's like, whatever that guy is, he sells the crap chop. <laughs> R.I.P. to Billy Mays. Too much of that special sugar, from my understanding. I'm not going to be able to hear it, but I will. I, I am opening it up right now. Let me skip this ad. I wish I had audio. <laughs> That's the exact kind of commercials I could see myself doing. 100%. But that's the thing, like what makes it what makes it famous? Is it the charisma? Is it because it's so stupid it's funny? Is it because it's funny? Is it because the guy, you know, you laugh and you're funny and you're like, ah, that guy's pretty cool. I, I want to give him my business. What is it that makes it what, what is it that makes it? What is that special sauce? And how can I apply that special sauce? Because it's it doesn't, it it doesn't, it doesn't work here in the breaking world. It does to a very small degree. Because people don't want to hear me be stupid and have fun, which we can always have fun and everything, but it's more a little bit more serious on this side. You know? I can't do that for Blaze. Like, let's be real. I can't. I would love to, but it doesn't really work. Now for the Hawaii market, no problem. I could, I could do something for like Hawaii that would mainly attract the Hawaiian business, which you know again talking about a universal appeal. As a Hawaiian looking at that, I would you know as a someone who's not from the states, I look at that and I'm like, oh that guy's pretty funny. I probably wouldn't buy from him, but he's pretty cool. <laughs> That's the way I would look at it. Which probably has like, right, 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 right. So, so what could I do that could make me stand out in what kind of market is my question. That's what I think about all the time now, Chad. That, that's literally what I do is I think about things. I have a lot of knowledge. I don't know how to apply it. It's the lack of taking action on my behalf. A little bit of fear too, obviously, you know. A little bit of fear, like. Breaking, I was, I hate, I'm not going to say this, but I was a top, I was a top tier breaker in Hawaii. If, if you ask anybody who they broke with in Hawaii, most people would mention me. Truth be told. You know, aside from the guys in Hawaii going to the other, you know, breaking companies, including Blaze. But if you ask about who their favorite small town breaker was, it was always me. One other guy that's pretty big on YouTube. Right, right. 
So it's just, it's finding that niche again. Collectibles, I just, I love what I'm doing now. Like, I enjoy breaking for Blaze. I really enjoy this. I enjoy the connections I make from here. That's cool. Like, I'm, I'm beyond happy. But what can I do elsewise that could, that could improve my, not only my financial situation, but also improve somebody else's life. Give them a laugh. You know, I think that, I think doing gambling videos would be cool, but I can't, I don't have a budget for that. I see guys that's doing, like, you know, like, Sea Otter, like, honestly, there's, you know, there's so many guys now, it's like, it's kind of overproduced now, but, like, I always did casino videos, you know what I mean? I always seen casino videos, and, like, I, oh, I mean, I, I wanted to do that, like, you know, but I can't afford to be, if you think, if I did $100 gambling a day, that's four grand, I mean, that's three grand minimum a month. I don't have three grand extra a month to gamble on, assuming I lost 30 days in a row. Now, some days you win, obviously, some days you lose, whatever the case being. I, I couldn't do that because it's too generic, all sports. Hama is a very commonly used term in Hoi. Very common. But the reason why I called myself the Hama to begin with was because a lot of my customers at the time when I was doing video games and stuff like that, they were Canadian. They were from Japan. They were from the States. They didn't have a lot of like Hawaiian connections. So I was like, ah, if I say Hama, it's common enough for Hawaiian people to identify me. They would instantly say, oh, that guy's from Hawaii. Instantly. But at the same time, not be, not be um, too generic. Like, I wouldn't want to be, for example, I wouldn't ever become. The Hawaii, the Hawaiian horse. I would never become the Hawaiian horse, for example. Or I wouldn't ever be the Hawaiian cowboy. You know, too generic, too basic. People would look at me and they'd be like, oh, are you trying to be from Hawaii or are you actually from Hawaii? It's just food for thought, you know. And I only, I'm only talking to everybody out there about this just because I, I, I enjoy these conversations. Only one, my brother, only one. I am a real American. Fight for my rights of every man. I oh now we gotta do the poses. <laughs> Hammer time. I mean we we could we could, but what what would how would I do a show like let, let let's really brainstorm this stone like what kind of show would I do. Like, I could do, like, some kind of... But, but, again, if we're talking about prizes and stuff like that, it's tough. So then I would have to do, like, a... I would have to go on, like, the streets and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then it, then I got to deal with the public, and I got to deal with a little bit crazy, like what all the other people do. Like, like the guy that interviewed the Hawk Tour girl, basically. It would be like that, because then that, that wouldn't require a lot of... A lot of capital investment. If I did a show, I would have to have prizes that would make people be interested to spend time with, you know. So in my opinion, it'd have to be at least a couple hundred dollar cash prize or or whatever the case being. I'm not, I, I, I'm not good at actually cooking traditional Hawaiian foods is the problem, Otter. Like Kalua pig, like most people would buy a pork butt, throw it in their Instapot, for example. <laughs> I don't know how to really make chicken long rice. I know how to prep the um, lao lao, but I don't really know how to make them good. That's actually what I'm going to ask my family to teach me when they come up for our wedding. I'm going to ask them if they can pass down a couple recipes to me. I never took an interest in cooking until 
I really needed to cook. <laughs> AKA living on your own. <laughs> I think the easiest thing for me to do would be like to be like a comedian, which was always like my natural talent. But it's, it's like content creation on being com comedic is hard in a saturated market. You know what I mean? And even then, if I do like something comedic, it's very difficult because, again, most of my humor probably would relate more towards the Hawaii people versus the universal comedy people. Like, like uh, Gabriel Iglesias is a great example. He's Latino. He's Hispanic. But he can pull off accents of everybody else. I can't do that. I don't know. I don't know. But I appreciate the conversation on it. Like, that's how we talk and that's how we spout million dollar ideas, right? I honestly believe that I think it's I think it's something to do with I think it's something to do with commercials and or infomercials type of influencing. But it has to be done different. It can't be done the same way that it's being done now. It has to be completely different. This week at the As Seen on TV store, the hammer tries out <laughs> the copper frying pan. All right, here we go. We got this. These brought out right now. This thing says it's non-stick. And then we like fry an egg on it and be like, ah, this fucking thing sticks. <laughs> Rubber. No go in my book, you know. Still, again, because of my accent, it's so ho it's too uh, Hawaii-based, which is fine. You know? Oh, we're going to test out these copper gloves. Supposed to be good for arthritis, you know? I know more arthritis, so I cannot tell you if it's good or bad, but pretty good. <laughs> I give this thing 5 out of 5. I would have gave it a 6 out of 5, but the price was kind of rough. <laughs> Stay tuned for next week's, you know, you know, I could do something like that. But then I'd have a lot of BS laying around. <laughs> Which then I'd probably have to donate. Which then I'd probably have to get a GE license. <laughs> so I could do all my write-offs. But I could do, it'd be all sole proprietorship. And then I don't have to worry about LLCs and all that crap. Real simple, basic GE tax license, sole proprietorship, call myself a media company, Hammer Media, Hammer Incorporated, Hammer Productions. Ooh, I like that one. Hammer Productions. There's a ring to it. Guys, if anybody out there is just listening to me spiel nonsense, please feel free to tell me to shut up. I'm just having a good conversation with you folks. See, that would be cool, Sea Otter. That would be pretty cool. Kind of be like the broadcast boys. Or... Oh. You guys heard of ESPNs? Yeah, and exactly, Cobalt, exactly. How does Joe Pesci say it in Casino Cobalt? Ah, look at you, you big ray of sunshine. You gonna deal the cards or what? Hit me. <laughs> ah, look at you. Look at you, you mother trucker. <laughs> Hit me again. I want you to take this card and shove it up your effing ass. <laughs> Hit me again. <laughs> uh.
I only recently watched Casino this past Christmas, and I love that movie. Or the, the other Christmas. Oh, that movie is awesome. I don't know how I never watched Casino before. Casino and Scarface and American Gangster is probably my favorite underground kind of movie, if you catch my drift. It makes me look at... I can never look at Joe Pesci the same again, ever. Ever. Casino, oh, Casino is such a great movie. Them I for pulling cards. I always tell them they had to go to art school because they, they all learned to draw so well. Ain't that the truth? Dude, I knew I knew Joe Pesci from like um Gone Fishing and, and Home Alone. Gone Fishing with Danny Glover and Joe Pesci, like. Never, I never, I want to watch The Bronx Tale. That's De Niro too, right? And I never did watch Goodfellas. Never did. I'm working on those things. I'm working on getting my, uh, getting some of the goats. Yeah, Bronx Tale looks real good. Bronx Tale looks good. Never watched Goodfellas. I'm sure, there's a couple other ones like, like a movie I really loved when I was a kid and I can't remember any of it is Training Day. I've watched that many. I think I've watched it like two or three times. I I remember none of it. You could tell me parts of Training Day and I can't even remember. I know I watched it a couple times and I always loved it. Four Brothers. Four Brothers was a great one. I enjoyed Four Brothers a lot. Mark Wahlberg is badass, yeah. Mark Wahlberg is definitely... Wahlberg is on my top five actors list for sure. Four Brothers, Ted, all of it. Was that like the movie to see in high school, Chad? Just curious. Ninety-five. I think that was my first year. I went to kindergarten. I think it was kindergarten. Kindergarten, first grade in ninety-five. Probably too busy playing Battletoads. <laughs> NES football, Battletoads, Mega Man's. Yeah, you know, Jeff, I, I've noticed that. My, my brother just turned 40 10 days ago, 11 days ago. He just turned 40. The brother that I fought with, my, my brother that, you know, my mom used to let him smoke cigarettes, you know, when he was in high school, probably younger than that, maybe even, like, I think about a lot of those things, and I'm like, shit, I'll be 35 in less than a month. I remember the Y2 craziness. I do. That was nuts. Y2 craziness was nuts.
All right, guys, we're just about ready to show one more box. Good luck. This is going to be our last break of the night, guys, because I am going to go home and try and get a lot of rest for tomorrow. I remember that. Everybody thought their computers were going to crash. And then we all woke up the next morning, and it, and it was nothing. The road was still there. And little did we know, about a year and a half later, we would have the terrorist attacks. To this day, I don't know why they, they made us go to school on that day. That was the weirdest thing. Couple cases of dynamic duels. Unfortunately, you might have to purchase the cases on your own and maybe have a break without myself, unfortunately. But I won't stop you, folks. Oh, these packs don't want to rip. Nice. Come on. A one of two or two of two that's crazy it was a hot seller on instagram i did a few cases on instagram a lot of guys liked it for personals honest i, I obviously i don't know the value of it but cool good luck guys Here we go. Last break of the night. Let's see something hot. No pro packs, unfortunately. Nice. Jenkins base. There's a mini diamonds of Cheerio. Bronx tail. Yeah, I gotta I gotta watch that for sure. That that is on my watch list. Like I don't know where to watch it. I mean I I'm willing to rent it on Amazon. I don't really care. Or I'm sure I could pirate it somewhere, but Tony Ruiz to three ninety nine on the green paper. Is it on AMC a lot? Jerry Dickey, of course we're gonna hit Dickey. Starting with a base auto of Alan Castro, bow socks and thin blue baseball is on the board. Purple paper of Tayshawn Walton. Oh, is it free on YouTube? Oh, all right. There's a purple of Miles Naylor to 250 on the true purple non auto. Oh, 
Oh, thanks for letting me know. I'll look that up. No, that's awesome. I, I will watch that show. I will watch that movie. I'll download it, and I will watch it on my way to the National. That's perfect. Oh, what am I doing? Why am I casing up after one box? Damn it. That ruined the flow. My goodness, I was going to top load without a sleeve now? Oh, boy. That's why I need to go home and rest. I don't know if I have AMC on demand, unfortunately. I have cable back home in Hawaii, so I use I use that for any kind of cable. Because my family or my uncle is old school and he needs cable. We'll call on the mini diamonds. So I might be able to get it there. Really, Luigi? That's awesome. Well, what did he do on that? Was he in the film or, or did, was he like production? Chase David to two ninety nine on a magenta. Sorry, I'm not familiar. I should, probably should be familiar, but like I said, I'm not great. Lambose? Lambosese? I'm not familiar, brother. There's a Baptiste on a blue crater autograph Mets on the board. I actually feel like I might have a super in this case. I don't, I don't know. I just feel like I'm due. How many cases have I done of this? I've never pulled a super auto. I mean, a super out of this product. Lombard on the speckle to 299 He ended up in jail, but he was a star. That's cool. Churio. Rivera, Landita, Ramirez, the substances, the substances. Base autograph of Woka for Curto. There you go, Curto. Curto is on the board. Hey, Frankie. Good night, Drive safe. Keep it under 100. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay, under 90 then. Purple paper of Raffaella. The Jenkins base. There's a rose of Felix Morabell. For the Angels, 6 of 10. Sick. I got a couple of roses lately. Rose gold. They sit for the Angels. Rose. 
Wire series. I'm not. I'm Luigi. I'm not good with a lot of like shows. Unfortunately, I didn't watch a lot. Of, a lot of shows until kind of late in my life. Oh, in the wire. Alright, first three boxes. Got some nice color. No connections yet. We'll see. I got the AB and the AC autos. Wokow. Can we see a Jenkins tonight? The twins have been quiet. So Wilkin on the Lunar Glow. Detourty to 150. Lombard on the mini diamonds again. Luciano on the green paper. Cespedes. Base autograph, Tigers. It's Carson Rucker for the Tigers. The gold of Isaiah Drake on the gold, sorry, on the yellow crater, excuse me. That was box four. Celestin on the Lunar. Duno on the Mini Diamonds. Isaiah Drake again on the yellow crater. That's interesting. Duplicates we're seeing here. Gold paper of Aiden Miller on the gold paper for Philadelphia. Zavala. Of course, Jerry Dickey for Kansas City. The guaranteed hit for the Royals.
Lava of Zanatello for the Bow Sox and Thin Blue is on the board. That was box five, box six, halfway point coming up, guys. Duno on the Lunar. Anderson on the Mini Diamonds for the Bow Sox. Brooks Lee on the Aqua to 125. Twins on the board. Magenta of Rojas to two ninety nine, Philly. Yellow paper of Burke for the White Sox seventy five. Wolcott on the Lunar Glow. <clears throat> Matt Shaw on a purple crater. Refractor autograph of Antonio Anderson for Thin Blue. Couple hits for Thin Blue. Seems like a Bull Sox case. Orange. That's a nice orange for the Brewers. Big Air Jair gets a Cooper Pratt 24 of 25 non-autograph. Nice orange there. I wish that had ink for Big Air Jair, my brother. Halfway point. Hey, what up, Ramos? How you doing, Ramos? What's new, buddy? <clears throat> here we go. Halfway point is over. Nice orange starting to heat up here. We got to see a little bit more. Let's do it. Callus on the mini. Di our mini diamonds are nice. Fortunately, I know it's the non-autos.
Peace auto for the Braves. It was Benitez. <clears throat> Come on, give us one hot case filled with like colors and everything. Spotlight for the Rangers rookie. That's the man Evan Carter on the base spotlight. Thought it was going to be an LA to be honest. Purple paper of Arius for the Yanks. Jacob Wilson, purple. It's a Jacob Wilson and Wyatt Langford kind of day, apparently. <clears throat> Here we go. Five left. Box eight. Good luck. Carlos Silva, how about some Jenkins? Baptiste on a mini diamonds. Wyatt on the Lunar. That was a guarantee hit. We knew Wyatt's were coming out. Base auto of Luis Baez for the Strohs. John is on the board. Orange paper of Jackson Churio, two of 25 for the broker. Refractor of Valencia for the Strohs as well. Dylan Cruz on the base. Four left, guys. Come on. Let's see something massive. J.D. Gonzalez. Williams set on the mini diamonds. Gold Auto, Jacob Wilson. For the Athletics and Spencer, my brother McCormick, if that's for sale, hit up the hammer if you're watching that. McCormick, everything Jacob Wilson's tonight. Hey, how are you, Eric? Long time. Been a minute. Scherzer.
Purple Crater of Zavala. I haven't, Eric, I haven't posted any content in a while. I, I appreciate you, though. It's been, I've been, I've been very tired the past month, month and a half. I haven't been, like, myself. Cruise on a base. I appreciate it, nonetheless, Eric, for sure. The Card Brada, wait, Card Brada, right? Is your IG? I forget. Three boxes left, guys. up pack it's gonna be um it's gonna be hawk pack and then i'll be on in the evening hawk was gonna do all day but his back is not not feeling great so instead of me going on thursday tomorrow or thursday morning i'll be on tomorrow night and then uh hawk will take over in the morning thursday again i'm i'm excited for the grizz too i've been buying some ggs i got rid of a lot of my jaws eric a long time ago after the first pew pew incident so, I mean, I haven't had a lot of my jaws. I, obviously, I still have some, like, you know, cheap jaws and stuff. But I got rid of all my rookie autos. I figured if anything happened, I could always rebuy. But we'll see. Another Jacob Wilson. Jacob Wilson case. You know me, I was a big jaw guy. Everybody knows that. I say it all the time. I was proud of jaw. Like, jaw was him. Callis. That was somebody, for better or worse, I said I wouldn't mind keeping or selling off if something happened. Silva for the Twins. And after that Pew Pew incident, I said enough was enough. I'm not buying any more jaws. And then I started selling and selling and selling. He is overlooked. Bane is definitely overlooked. And Backer actually was the one that told me that. Backer told me I should be buying more Bane instead of Jaw. Sure enough, a year later, he was right. And I didn't believe him too. I mean, I did, but I didn't. I understood where his thinking was going. But obviously... No, no, Cal. Nothing else that's going in for tonight, brother. Nothing else for tonight. Nobody's here. I think Eerie them said tomorrow they'll be adding. But we don't have like a ton of... We don't have like a ton of it for like day one. So it's mainly going to be back to back me and Hawk tomorrow. So you'll get me Hawk. Then you get Hawk Cat. And then Cat is all day on Friday. And then... I don't remember the rest of the schedule. Kemp. But we're on every day guys. I think Saturday, Sunday or something like that. I think it's only a night session. I don't exactly remember. That's a nice Wilkin to 125 on the Aqua Crater. They did add in... Oh, by the way, Cal, they did add in... I know we were talking about this late last night, too. They did add in a random team. I don't know of... I think of Hobby... Or maybe of each. I'm not exactly sure. But they do have a couple of randoms that they added in there. All 
Are you going to nationals, Eric? No, but like, I'm talking about like almost two months. For like a good month, a little bit over a month, I was like extremely lazy. Like, didn't want to leave the house. Well, Luigi, 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 what a day. It is his first autograph, even though it's no first. His first Bowman auto of Sebastian Walcott to 150. On a true blue. That's a nice hit. It was a Rangers kind of day, Luigi. Only in your dreams. You're not going to Nats. Why not? Spotlight number two. For the Blue Jays. Who took the Jays late? Cobalt. This is like my best hitting day for you. <laughs> it is the prospect for the Jays. It is Nimala to 125. On the Aqua Spotlight or Teal, Aqua Teal, whatever one, for lack of a better call. Vargas on the Sky Blue Paper. Rangers are definitely not due. <laughs> this is probably the first break tonight, Air Efro, that I did not hit a Wyatt Langford auto yet. <laughs> Ask anybody in the chat, they'll tell you. It was Wyatt Langford night. <laughs> As a matter of fact, multiple Wyatt Langford nights. <laughs> Cerna. No, definitely not. You know, this is probably the best hitting I've ever done for you, Cobalt. Nothing like no monsters, please. I'm not, you know, I ain't trying to, I ain't trying to over-exaggerate it, but we're hitting, you know. We're hitting solid. I can't, I can't say anything wrong about that Lombard. How many Lombards we had? Her shot at 199 on the purple paper. Who's my best non first? Oh no, it is a first. Bertok, it was Ben Williamson. Why couldn't that have been Aiden on the orange shimmer? Ben Williamson. Ended on a couple nice colors there, guys. And then on a cup. I don't have anything close, Esplez. What would you like next? Aiden, there's your Aiden Smith on the Seattle team for Burtok. We're talking about infomercials. And that is the break, guys. I got HTA is pretty much the only other thing close. Oh, we cleared out everything else. Hobbies out. Sapphire's gone, done. Bozilis. Matas Bozilis. Actually, when does Summer League end? This week, right? 
I should go to a summer league game. That's what we should do. Beautiful. Hey, yeah, 13 minutes. 13 minutes till the birthday celebration. Happy early birthday. That's 13 minutes still. Recap. Couple spotlights, no gladiators in this one, no animes in this one. More bell on the rose gold and our auto silver. Gold of Jacob Wilson for McCormick. I'm a buyer if not. Orange Shimmer of Williamson for Burtok. Good to see you, Burtok. And the blue first Bowman autograph of Sebastian Walcott. Luigi, we're going to beat the sword on that for you. 